Well, it happens to all of us, and usually at the most inconvenient time, your shoelaces come undone. But is it actually all your fault? CBS 13's George Warren admits it's been a lifelong problem for him, and his search for a solution finally led him to Australia. Who doesn't remember that special day when you finally learned how to tie your shoes? When I was five years old. I learned how to tie my shoes when I was three years old. My grandpa taught me how to tie my shoes. Hate to tell you, but mom, dad, or the grandparents who taught you probably taught you wrong. When I'm rushing to class and my shoelaces come undone, it's kind of annoying. And I just have taken it as part of like just the way that I tie my shoes. It's, it's part of my life now. Untied shoes seem to be such a part of life that UC Berkeley published a study showing how inertia gradually loosens a traditional knot. Yes, it demonstrates the problem, but offers no solution. Where Berkeley was focusing on the ends of the shoe laces coming undone, they hadn't focused on the mechanics of the actual knot itself, the underlying part of the knot slipping and gradually loosening. We can just do the crossover and pull through. Long before the Berkeley study, Australian Ian Fegan wrote a book and launched a website promoting a different kind of knot, which he proudly calls Ian's Knot. I do the finishing knot, like that. Ian simply replaces the typical granny knot with a much stronger square knot. Like that, and it's tied. At some point, somebody nicknamed Ian Professor Shoelace, and he's been tied to it ever since. So class, meet Professor Shoelace. I enlisted my class of aspiring journalists to help tell the shoelace story. They found, as I did earlier, it's not easy to unlearn muscle memory developed over decades. No. No. <laughs> it's really difficult. <laughs> it's just my, my brain wants to go one way and my hands want to go another way. <laughs> you too might struggle with Ian's knot. Or like Chris here, you might feel like a little kid again. And bam done. Boom. <laughs>